Howdy. Today we're going to go over Azure. So what is Azure? In short, it's a cloud provider. You've probably heard the term cloud provider or storing things in the cloud for a long time, but what does that actually mean? It basically allows you to use somebody else's computer, more or less. You can use somebody else's computer and use their storage, use their power, use their internet, all by not having to worry about anything physically at your location. In this video series, we're going to mainly cover everything about Azure with how to run a web application. So that's going to be things like a web server, a virtual machines, databases, cache engines, a DNS, and different things like that. Things that make cloud providers popular is you're able to get started at little to no cost whatsoever to yourself. And you don't have to worry about like, say, say you're, you're, you're a company you're, and you, have a, you need to have a big web application and you need to have a bunch of servers to power that. And if you're just a startup, that could cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. And you have to worry about having to hire people that can manage those servers. Um, you gotta have the building to, to do that and all kinds of just different things. Well, with the cloud, you can just have your web application hosted in the cloud instead of actually on your physical data center that you would have to you would have to manage. So you can let Azure handle all of the things like the physical hardware of of the applications and the machines. So they're gonna they're gonna handle all the power. You don't have to worry about backup power. They're gonna handle the internet, the cooling of the machines. If a machine goes down, they're gonna handle most of that for you. Uh, th they're gonna handle your storage. So basically this offloads all of that ha responsibility off to Azure. And then you can just get started and just running your business or running your web application or, or whatever you need. Another thing it's good for is if you're just trying things out. So maybe you just wanna play around with learning Linux or just how servers work and different things. You can just spin up machines up and down at will as much as you want and get charged either nothing or just a, a little bit of a little bit of money. Azure actually has a free tier that you can use for for um, for one year uh, for certain things. So you can play around and it's not going to cost you anything. You don't have to worry about having to go go out and purchase a physical s server that you have to have at your house or in your bedroom. You can just use Azure's servers that they have in the cloud. Azure continues to grow. You may have heard of AWS. AWS is Azure's competitor. That's AWS is Amazon's cloud provider. Uh, Azure continually continues to get uh, bigger and bigger. They keep growing. Um, so, so it's it's a very large provider. It's it's very known. It's very it's used highly. It's highly reliable. All right, so let's get let's just get started to dive right into so we can kind of see what's going on. And this this we're gonna do a course. This course is gonna be I'm not sure how many videos long, but we're gonna do a full course on setting up an entire web application that can uh, um, scale that could handle millions of users at once if you needed. It will host your host your domain for you. It'll host your database. We're gonna go through all of that on how to set every everything up from from start to finish and all that. So, so make sure you hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on any of the videos that, that come up. And the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to get a Azure account. And you can sign up for a free account. So if you just Google Azure, you can go and then there should be like a free account uh, icon in the top right. And with this free account, you, 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 can, you can try things out for, for free, which is, which is cool. So, Couple things you do for, for the first twelve months, you can get seven hundred and fifty hours of machine for for free. So that's basically one month. So you you could have one virtual machine that you you can play around with for free. And you also for the first month you get two hundred dollar credit. So you could try out different things up to two hundred dollars, and you don't have to pay for it. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, so you, you can see here, 750 hours compute for Linux virtual machines, um, managed disks. So the managed disk is like your hard drive on your regular computer, SQL databases. 
blob storage. That's like a that's like a think of like Dropbox if you've ever heard of Dropbox. Uh, it's just kind of storage which you can use for your personal computer or like instead of storing things on your personal computer, you could store it in blob storage or a lot of times blob storage is for like backup databases and things like that. Uh, so yeah, so the first thing you want to do is, is set up that free account. So I've already got an account set up, so this might look slightly different to you. Yeah, so I've already got an account set up. So so follow the steps on the screen. It's going to ask you to enter a credit card card number, but that's just to, to validate um, that you're a real person and all that. You won't be charged anything as long as you don't go over your limits. Um, and, that, and that's... You can go over your limits, so you need to watch that. So, so in like the the second in a video before we get started on everything else, I'm gonna we're gonna set up a budget, just so you don't accidentally go over. Because I've done it numerous times, and you don't want to have extra like twenty dollar bills for no reason. But for the most part, you're not gonna get charged any money. Uh, but you need to put your credit card in. So s sign up for the account, and then once you do that, you'll you'll, you'll have an account and and a basic subscription set up. So once you get your account, you can go to the portal portal page, um, and yours will look similar to this. I'm using the dark mode, so let's just go through a few things. So right here in this little icon, the settings, you have dark mode. Let me just go back to white. So this is probably what yours looks like by default. You won't have recent resources like I do, but this will be kind of your 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 home of of the portal. You'll have this is inside of Azure. I want to change this back to black because it's easier on the eyes, and that's and that's what I like. But let's just go over a few things, and in a, in a, we'll go over a few things that we're going to go over in this in this whole course of of Azure. So you can f see here it has a has a few few resources here. These are just a, a, a couple resource groups are. We'll get into those in, in a future video, but they're just like a container to hold a bunch of resources. But some things you might be familiar with. So if you go over here, you can go to all services. And here's some featured services. So virtual machines, these are very common. Your virtual machines are going to be like your web servers. You could host a database on there. You could have an API on there. You can go to do, do anything. It's just it's it's your own virtual computer in the cloud essentially. Then you have like SQL databases that date that Azure handles for you virtual networks, cost management, but there's there's literally hundreds of services that Azure provides. And it, look at all of these services that they have. This is insane, there's so many different services. But what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through all the services that pertain to setting up a web, web application for production loads. Not just your hobby, hobby website that you're going to do we'll, we'll set it up that you could do it for just a very basic site or you could have it so it's going to scale millions of users so yeah so that's that's the gist of 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 azure we're going to dive right in to it in the in these follow following videos so make sure you hit the subscribe button below